My name is uh, George Henry Briscoe. I'm a currently a serving major with the Duke of Lancaster's regiment. I'm based up in Preston. I've served 36 years uh, to date. Um, I was awarded an MBE for, for some um, activity in Afghanistan in 2010 and I continue to serve to this day. I'm 54 years old um, and I just want to take you through my cancer journey. I initially just had some indigestion or I thought it was indigestion. I took off the counter remedies, Gaviscon, and um, it didn't seem to work. Uh, so by the time we got to the beginning of December, I decided to go to the doctors as my symptoms were getting worse. Um, the doctor just before Christmas sent for me and he diagnosed that I had um, a bacteria uh, of the stomach called H. pylori, which is Herobactyl pylori. Herobactyl pylori um, is normally caused by living in unsanitary conditions, living in overcrowded conditions, drinking dirty water, um, using dirty latrines, and being generally unhygienic, uh, eating food with your, ha with your hands. And of course, my military service probably leads me to believe that um, that is the most likely cause of, of how this bacteria started. On the 12th of April, I took a phone call in the evening from Dr. Isaacs, who told me to go to hospital the following day. Quite clearly, I knew that something was seriously not right. Um, Friday the 13th of April, unlucky for someone, unlucky for me, I was told that I had stomach cancer at an advanced stage uh, with a tumour that had gone through uh, the lining of my stomach and was streaming towards my other organs. And at that point, didn't know if it was treatable or not, but, but dependent on further investigations and, and what treatment was out there, uh, was going to de de determine my future uh, and whether I, I basically lived or, or didn't live. On the 17th of April, again a week later, I had a CT scan at Blackpool Vic. Uh, I saw Dr. Isaacs after the CT scan and he informed me of the treatment plan, which was going to be quite radical under FLOT. Um, four um, sessions of, at two week intervals of um, high doses of, of chemotherapy, uh, followed by uh, a total stomach removal um, and followed by another four cycles of chemotherapy. Sounds very simplistic, but that was actually took about eight months to conclude. Um, on the 1st of May, I saw Mr Ward at Preston to discuss my treatment plan and possible surgery and the stomach removal. The 10th of May, um, I went to Preston Hospital for further examinations um, and a laparoscopy uh, was done to determine um, the extent of the cancer and, and to, just to ascertain um, whether or not the treatment was actually going to be suitable for me. Um, a multidisciplinary team sat a couple of days later um, and I was informed on the 15th of May that surgery might be possible but only if the chemotherapy actually worked on the tumour and reduced it or had some effect on the tumour at the time. Um, for my own well-being at this point, um, I clearly went and redid my will. I went and uh, planned my funeral because I firmly believed that I was going to die and I didn't have any uh, likelihood of the uh, possibility of the treatment working. Although, um, as time progressed, I got more and more hopeful that it would. Um, and, and that's exactly, ultimately, how, how it turned out by the end of the chemotherapy sessions. So on the 23rd of May, I started four sessions of chemotherapy. Um, which were two week intervals and at the end of the fourth session which was on the 10th of July uh, I had a CT scan to see uh, if the four chemotherapies were, were working uh, and I was told that, that um, it positively had worked and, um, and it, there was some effect on the tumour although maybe not, not as much as the, the surgeons and the uh, consultant, cancer consultant was actually open. Um, during my journey after after the fourth session of chemotherapy, 
it wasn't without its penalty. I'd lost a significant amount of weight. I'd had all the normal side effects quite severely uh, through the chemotherapy uh, and I was admitted to hospital uh, with sepsis um, and C. diff uh, superbug of the bowels, um, and which um, proper made me poorer and uh, inactive uh, over that period. And at one point my wife was certainly convinced that I wasn't going to make it through um, the sepsis and the C. diff. Um, but I turned the corner and then I was actually discharged from hospital um, a couple of weeks later. On the 30th of August, um, having had another laterostomy performed at Preston on the 6th of August, um, I had my stomach removed. Um, the whole process in hospital normally takes about two weeks, um, with a few days in intensive care and a couple of days uh, up on the ward and then you start some intensive rehab uh, as quickly as they can possibly get you up and moving. Um, I spent no more than seven days in hospital because I was determined to get back on my feet and progress my rehab as quickly as possible. I was discharged from the hospital in Preston on the 7th of September. On the 1st of October, uh, I started chemotherapy again uh, for, for, again, four more sessions to do any mopping up of any cancer cells that were remaining. Um, this was earlier than uh, I had to, but I, I had a mindset of getting on with it as quickly as possible um, so that if there was cancer presence, um, it would regenerate as quickly as, as maybe it would have done if I would have waited. I, I, I then ended up in hospital for, for another few days um, with uh, dehydration. Um, on the 24th of de December this year is when I went for, uh, sorry, 21st of December, I went for a CT scan um, up to uh, Preston and then I had a long four weeks wait um, to see if I was clear. On Thursday of last week, on the 17th of January, I went and saw my cancer consultant, uh, Dr. Bezetna, who, who, who gave me the diagnosis of being all clear, which was absolutely elating. Um, and from where I came from at the start of the journey to the end of the journey um, was actually, you know, unbelievable. Uh, and what I'd gone through and um, what you see in front of you today is I was 92 uh, sorry 96 kilograms I'm now 62 I'm still suffering from the side effects of the chemotherapy but that's starting to uh, slowly but surely ebb away and of course um, everything that I've gone through um, is down to the National Health Service the, the, I, I came across nobody um, that was negative towards me or um, had any other agenda other than to make sure that I got the optimum care possible. Um, I came across some really humble people that also were cancer sufferers um, and some of them are not here to tell the tale um, but um, fortunately I am and hopefully if you see this there is hope out there and I would employ anyone to undergo the treatment of chemotherapy. I know some people opt out for different reasons, um, but I would encourage everybody to embrace the treatment, whatever your consultant advises, because it could, as it has with me for now, I'm thankful to be alive. And as things stand, um, I'm looking forward, not back, and, uh, and I'm planning my life uh, in a different way than I had previously. Thank you.